All right, this is the spinal cord tract lecture. There are tracts of neurons and their axons that go up and down the spinal cord connecting the brain and the, the rest of the body. The ones that go up start from the body and go up the spinal cord up to the brain, and these are the sensory tracts. Specifically, there's the dorsal column, which I've drawn for you in green here. Dorsal column takes sensations of pressure, vibration, proprioception, and fine touch from the body up the spinal cord through the dorsal column tracts and all the way to the brain. And this can be divide, divided into the fasciculus gracilis and the fasciculus cuneatus. So the gracilis takes the sensation from the lower body. Um, so there's a mnemonic feet on the grass. And this is in the inner portion, okay? So it's also here too, okay? This whole portion is the fasciculus gracilis. And then the outer portion is the cuneatus, which is for the upper body. Next, we have the spinothalamic tract, which also takes sensation, but this is specifically pain and temperature. Um, so it's spinothalamic is pain and temperature. Dorsal column is pressure, vibration, proprioception. Okay. Now we have descending tracts that go from the brain down to the body. And specifically, this is for motor function. So the brain, say you want to move your arms, your brain tells your arms to move and does so through these cortical spinal tracts that I've noted here. And it's important that we note the location of these tracks as well. We'll understand why later. So let's go. Actually, before we go into that, I also want to point out, well, first of all, that this, this right here, this stuff is gray matter, okay? And then, do you remember what the difference is between gray matter and white matter? So gray matter is where the cell bodies are, and white matter is all the axons of the cell body, okay? And now I wanted to actually, this is a side note here going on to the demyelinating diseases. Um, for the demyelinating diseases, is it going to be gray matter that's going to be basically uh, messed up and get lesions or is it going to be white matter? The answer is it's always white matter because white matter is where the axons are and the axons are what is myelinated, not the gray matter. So you get lesions in say multiple sclerosis, blah, blah, blah. That's all in the white matter. All right, so the idea here is that you get synapses here in the gray matter because that's where the cell bodies are, and then the axons will travel out, and the axons also are traveling down in the spinal cord in the, in the white matter. This is white matter. It's kind of gray here, so it's kind of confusing, but the inside is gray, the outside is white. Okay, so let's talk about ascending tracks. Uh, we'll focus on the dorsal column tracks here, so this is the one circled in blue. I'm going to ignore this side on the right and ignore all these words, a bunch of words that I'm just going to talk, what, talk you through. We're going to get sensation from the body, okay? This is the rest of the body. It's going to take, you're going to get sensation nerves. They're going to go from the body and go towards the spinal cord. And these nerves are actually, um, they're going to go into the spinal cord go into the dorsal horn, or dorsal horn is for sensation, anterior horn is motor. They're gonna go up ipsilateral, they're gonna go up on the same side, okay? And then, they're gonna synapse in the medulla. So that's the first synapse, this is the medulla. So we went all the way up from the spinal cord, all the way up to the brain stem, and this is going to be their first synapse. So these, these travel a long way, okay? Go all the way up to the medulla and synapse. And then the second neuron goes from the medulla where it synapse, and it's going to cross. This is important. This is where it crosses. It crosses in the medulla and the brain stem. And it's going to ascend on the opposite side as the medial lemiscus. It's going to go all the way to the thalamus, to the VPL, the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus. Um, and then from the thalamus, this is a sensory nerve, remember, so it then we'll go to the sensory cortex, okay? So it is important to know all this, all these little details here, where exactly it synapses, uh, where, where, it extent, where, is it, where it is on the spinal cord, that is, it's ipsilateral. So if the sensation's on the right side of the body, it's going to send on the right side of the spinal cord, and then it crosses the medulla. Then it's going to go to the opposite side of the brain. 
Next is the spinothalamic tract. So now we are here. Again, we have sensation from the body. That's nerves, sensory nerves from the body. We note that the cell, the cell body is right here in the dorsal root ganglion, okay? And then it's gonna synapse at the dorsal horn. Remember, dorsal horn is sensation, anterior horn is motor. This anterior horn is motor. So dorsal horn, this one in contrast synapses here. It synapses at the level of the spinal cord. So if it was, say, sensation for your belly button, remember that was the T10. So this is would be T10, spinal cord. And it's going to synapse there, and then it's going to cross. The second neuron is going to cross here. So this is key. So it crosses at the level of the, of the same, same level of the spinal cord, in contrast to the dorsal column, which you have to go all the way up to the medulla first in the brainstem. All right, going back here, we cross this our second neuron. It's going to go up on the opposite side. So for our, um, let's say our maybe left side of the belly button, it's going to go up on the right side. And again, this goes all the way up to the thalamus. Remember the thalamus is that it's the relay center of all our senses. So synapses at the thalamus. And then our final neuron, again, this sensation. So again, goes to the um, VPL to the sensory cortex. So um, the key uh, the two similarities here is the, the, the second synapse is going to be at the thalamus. And then from the thalamus, again, it's the same. It goes to the sensory cortex in the brain. Uh, but you do have to note the differences in where, um, where the first synapses are and where the... Um, the neurons will desiccate or cross the spinal cord. The next is the descending tract that we've talked about. This is the motor tract, uh, also known as the cortical spinal tract. Now this is a little different picture. Um, and note that the first neuron is starting in the motor cortex. Remember, um, I remember the motor is before the sensory cortex. Uh, if you remember that mnemonic, that the motor is in front of the car. So their cell bodies there, and they're gonna send their axons down through the internal capsule, okay? So there's a bunch of motor neurons. They all send their axons down the internal capsule in the brain, and they will go all the way down, same side, all on the same side, all the way down to the medulla. Okay, this is the medulla in the brain stem. Some of them stay, stay on the same side, but the majority, okay, so some stay on the same side. The majority are gonna cross. They're gonna decusate at the bottom of the medulla. This is the medulla pyramids. It's called the decusation of the pyramidal decusation. So they're going to cross, and then they're going to continue going down the spinal cord, and they're going to synapse at the anterior horn of the spinal cord. Remember, we talked about that a lot. They're going to synapse at the anterior horn of the spinal cord. So this whole thing in red here is the upper motor neuron. Okay, and that's what, that will be significant later. So they synapse at the anterior horn of the spinal cord. And then the, the neuron that comes out that is going to go to the muscles, this is called the lower, mo lower motor neuron. So you can see here. And it's going to go to our muscle. Okay, this is our muscle here. This neuron is going to synapse at the muscle at the NMJ. This is called the neuromuscular junction. So that's it for the cortical spinal tract. It's a lot simpler, but note that it will go down from the brain, from the motor cortex down, and will decusate at the medulla, and then finally synapse at the um, dorsal, uh, at the anterior horn of the spinal cord. And then that is the upper motor neuron. Then the lower motor neuron is going to come out and then go all the way to the muscle. It's going to innervate, and they're going to synapse at the neuromuscular junction. So that's it for our spinal cord tracks.